Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see <clears throat> Auto Provisioning page is renamed to Settings and Monitoring in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, now as soon as you will log on to the Azure portal and you will log on to Microsoft Defender for Cloud and go into the environment settings or any other option in the Microsoft Defender for Cloud, you will see that uh, you will get a message that the auto provisioning update experience this has been updated or renamed to settings and monitoring and available with an updated experience under the defender plans section here right so if you want to try it or see what all new features are added you click on try it now so you will go back to settings and monitoring and this is the auto provisioning page option so it says log agent and azure monitor agent which is the which i said to on you can set it to off as well vulnerability assessment for machines and enables vulnerability assessment on your azure and hybrid machines you can set it to on guest configuration agent it is off you can set it to on agentless scanning for machines scans the machines for installed software and vulnerabilities without relying on agents or impacting machine performance we'll talk about it in the later videos uh, all of these options one by one we'll explore more on this but i just wanted to let you know about the new settings that you get so let's say this azure policy for kubernetes is set to enabled all right so if you extends gates keep uh, gatekeeper v3 required to apply it scale auditing enforcements and safeguards on clusters in a centralized consistent manner on azure kubernetes service will be deployed as an add-on on our clusters will be deployed as an arc extension or all right and if you defender daemon said as well agentless scanning for machines if i set it to on machines with the following tags will not be scanned so if you want to not enable uh, auto provisioning on all of the machines you just add a tag to your uh, virtual machines and those will be excluded from this auto provisioning or scanning that you will enable uh, agentless scanning which is still under preview but we'll we'll discuss more on on these option in the later videos i hope this was informational for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you